How are you guys? How's it going? Drew Doughty spent his day with the Stanley Cup in his hometown of London, Ontario, Canada. No, you can't. I you don't. can't lift it. No. No. <laughs> Before several public appearances, Drew spent some time with just his family at his off-season home. You're going to have some sore arms today. You know, we have a huge family, as you saw inside. Uh, you know, there's 230 people here today. For Canadians, this is what it's all about. It's, you know, to touch that cup, to see that cup is like cotton candy. So it's been great. Well done, buddy. Hey, everyone. How are you? Just in my neighborhood here, uh, showing the cup to my neighbors. Uh, lots of little kids out here, and uh, you know, I think that's the most important thing is uh, having them out here, being a part of the cup celebration. What's up, buddy? How are you? Could I have a picture of you at the cup? Yeah, sure. Make sure you touch it. There you go. Congratulations. Yeah, awesome congratulations. season, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> she needs two hands. After spending the morning in his local community, Drew, his friends, and family took a bus to City Hall. In downtown, Drew met up with another London native, teammate Jeff Carter. The two kings were guests of honor at a ceremony with city officials celebrating their Stanley Cup championship. We are so proud of what you've been able to accomplish in your career and bringing home the Stanley Cup to London, Ontario, Canada. You honor us with your own accomplishments. You honor us with uh, the respect that you bring to us. That You've got thousands of fans waiting for you at the, at the JLC uh, who are just dying to meet with you, to touch you, to touch the cup. Congratulations and thank you so much, London. Right, London, you're coming it. out the <laughs> Congratulations. After a ride through town with the Ontario police, Drew and Jeff brought the cup to the local OHL arena in London to share the Stanley Cup with fans. I know when you were drafted, you said you always wanted to be a king. Yeah, um, LA Kings my favorite team. I uh, was a big fan of Wayne Gretzky, so uh, to be able to play for them uh, as a childhood uh, fan, uh, it was amazing. Okay, fellas, you can see how many people appreciate your efforts. Thanks so much. Drew then took the cup to where hockey started for the young defenseman, his parents' home where he grew up. I think you can probably see the dents in the garage here. Yeah. He's shooting on my dad, and then he couldn't keep up with it anymore. These are my Kings jerseys. Obviously, Gretzky jersey, well, it says Dowdy, but, uh, uh, you know, 99. Gretzky's my favorite player. There's lots of Gretzky stuff right there. Um, Kelly Rudy is my favorite goalie. My parents made this room for me. Uh, it's something I'll always remember. It's our little shrine, right? It's where the memories were made, and you know, I was really happy to see the photos that were taken today in that room. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, bringing that cup in the room was, uh, was the best moment of, of today. The cup is empty. Like <laughs> 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 we need a bit more wine there. My dad did a lot for Drew. Um, he took him to <laughs> morning practices. Uh, they did a lot for us as a family because it's very expensive sport. As far as his billet parents, he couldn't have had two better parents to, you know, guide him at 15 years old when he left home. It's everything that that Drew worked for, and I I hope, uh, you know, we were a little piece of that. I want to be one of the best hockey players to ever play the game, and uh, in order to do that, I'm going to have to work hard, stay focused. Win the Cup's the best, man. Like, there's nothing that beats it.